you could take it Know you wanna see me naked, naked, naked I wanna be a baby, baby, baby Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag Hey everybody! So today, um, if you haven't already read the title of this video, we are going to be doing the Fenty Beauty Reveal. So, I have been waiting a couple days to do this review. I know everybody and their mom has a review on Fenty Beauty. However, I, um, basically, I didn't know if I was going to buy it first, but then I was like, you know what, if I can buy, like, all these other beauty products that people are coming out with then I feel like I have to buy Rihanna's you know so that's what I did I wanted to let you know that I didn't buy any of the powder highlighters I bought one I returned it it wasn't my cup of tea so I returned it like literally right before I received the rest of my products in the mail so sorry but I'm not gonna be putting that yellow highlighter on my face I just didn't like it so the other products that I bought, I bought two foundation. Now, the reason I have two foundations is because online, when the products launched originally, they had um, like pictures of skin tones that you could choose from if you were looking for something that would match you. Now, the first one that I had picked up by just looking at the swatches that they had online was 430. And I think this might be like cool, 430 cool. I don't remember. It doesn't really say on the box. But I picked up 430. And what I found was I was like, let me go to Sephora and just see what these look like in person before I get my package in the mail. And so I went to Sephora and realized that 430 was way too yellow. It was way too, it just was more, it was, it, looks good but when you have a flash on your face it looks really not okay like for my skin tone it didn't look okay because as soon as i took a picture with flash you could tell it wasn't the right shade so i ended up going back to the store and getting 450 and this is 450 warm um and i found that 450 with flash photography and whatever after i get done highlighting and contouring even though it's a little dark looks really really good with flash photography so i also have samples of 440 and 460 so i'm just going to swatch those all on my arm so you can see every single shade the next thing that i got from fenty beauty was the beauty blender so the beauty blender looks like this i've used it twice already just because i really love sponges and i felt like i should try it out and i have been trying out the foundations just to see which color suited my skin so i have used this so this is not a first impressions you guys this is a review not a first impressions it's a first impressions of some of the products but not the foundation if that makes sense so anyways i really like the sponge unlike the beauty blender one thing i noticed is you see the shit the color of this it's like cream um if you bought the tan beauty blender then you know if you have dark skin and you put dark foundation or bronzer or whatever on the tan beauty blender it will never come out <laughs> if you put any product on the white beauty blender because the white beauty blender is actually made for moisturizer and like some more skincare products than it is for foundation you will not be able to wash the color out of the beauty blender i've washed this and you almost can't even tell that i've used it because it has no color in it like you know what i mean this is the shade that it was when i got it and all the product washes out it doesn't stain is what i mean so i really like this because you can use it you can use any type of really dark products or foundations or whatever with it and it doesn't stain the sponge so i really really like that the other two products that i bought are one i bought online and one i bought in store so the one i bought in store was what i bought yesterday and it's i think the highlighter stick it's basically a highlighter for some people a bronzer for some people but it's in the shade suede and i really am excited to try this i haven't tried this all i've done is wash it on my hand when i was in the store so i don't know how it's going to look on my face or how it's going to blend out but 
I'm very optimistic. The other one that I got online, did I get this online? Yeah, I got it online, was Espresso, and this is the contour. It's very dark, but you know, I'm just gonna give it a try because I mean, I really like the KKW contour sticks, and so I feel like if I like those, I'm bound to like these, you know? So the shimmer stick is on your right, and the concealer is on your left, and the contour color is in the middle. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very sleek and very nice. It's very, it seems very high quality to me. So this is the lightest shade um, out of all the shades that I have. Um, this is the one that online I thought was going to be my perfect shade, but not really. So you guys will see that in a second. So I'm just going to put a little doll up. So this is... This is 430. Now online, it really looks like it would be my shade. And it, when it oxidizes, it does get a little bit darker. But it's way too yellow, orange. Like, I don't know. It's just not my shade. So... I don't have the actual foundation bottle, but I'm going to show you guys what 440 looks like because I have a sample of it. So that's what 440, that's what 440 looks like. To me, it was just too kind of red. I do actually have 450 and this is the shade that I think best matches my skin. So let me just shake it up. I'm going to put a little dollop in the center. So this is for 50. And that is a little bit darker, but when it oxidizes, I do feel like that is the closest that I'm going to get to my actual skin tone. And I do have a sample of 460 just to show you what that looks like. That is what 460 looks like. This is 430. This is 440. This is 450. And this is 460. So those are the shades. And like I said, 450 is the one that I feel best suits my skin. So I'm going to go in with the shade 450. As you saw, I think that matches my skin the best. So it says to shake really, really well. So that's what I'm doing. It's very liquidy. And I'm just going to directly apply on my face. Then I'm going to go in with a concealer brush. It's just by MAC. And spread it around. And then we're gonna go in with the Rihanna sponge. I'm gonna use the bottom of it. Like that made me look very red definitely tell that this is a darker foundation than I usually would wear this is what the sponge looks like after I'm done 450 looks so much better than 430 does when I take like a flash photo if that makes sense I love how this foundation feels it's very buildable um I would say for me it's a full coverage foundation it's definitely buildable I think it's medium coverage that can be built up to full um, if you wanted to sheer it out you could definitely add an oil to it and make it like more of a light coverage but I don't know why anybody would do that <laughs> because uh, this foundation it definitely makes you look airbrushed and it definitely does um, 
kind of like blur out your pores a little bit like I can still see my pores a little tiny bit but not a lot how cute this is you guys I mean that alone is super neat I really like how the packaging looks you see the FB on it for Fenty Beauty so I think the first product we're gonna go into because it's my favorite part of doing my makeup is going to be the suede highlighter stick so first I'm gonna go in with the highlighter stick all over my face just see how I like it if I don't care for the shade then I'll just add another one guys should know I'm not a big fan of cream contouring and highlighting but no I'm not a big fan of cream highlighting um, but I'm gonna give this a try I always usually still put a liquid over top of my cream but I'm not gonna do that just yet so we're gonna see how this goes I actually really like this shade that I got um I guess now I just need to make sure it blends out okay <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in with the sponge obviously I used the bottom for foundation I'm gonna use this slanted side to blend things out I think I blended out pretty good. Just like the chin and the cheek, you know, compared to that side. So I'm gonna have to say I really 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 like this you guys I really like how this blended out I, don't know, I wasn't really optimistic I feel like it definitely took a little bit longer to blend out with the sponge but I really don't like blending my concealer with brushes it's just a personal thing um, I think the only thing is I want to put a little bit more highlight in this section just to accentuate my nose highlight so I'm gonna go in with the contour stick now before I go in with a highlighter I'm very hopeful on this I really want it to look good because it did take so long to blend out with the sponge when I did the highlighter I'm gonna use a mini Sephora brush and I'm just gonna blend out everything
So I would say contouring for me is not like the biggest thing and not something I do. I think it blended out flawlessly, but I don't really know if I technically needed to do that step. Now I feel like I have to go back in with concealer, which is a step I always usually do. I always layer concealers. No, I'm bringing it back. It's just not light enough for me, you guys. You know, this is perfect for the everyday look, for a highlight and contour for your normal girl. For me, it's really not light enough. So I'm going to put a little bit of a lighter concealer underneath this part, and it'll make me happy. For me, I'm not hating on the, con the highlight stick at all. It's just I prefer liquid um highlighters over cream highlighter sticks if you know what i mean but i did like it and seeing as though it's the first layer of my highlight i do feel like it layers really 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 well and i will probably be using it as like a layering concealer because i do always layer my concealers so i just added powder to my face And I do actually really like this sponge because I feel like when I want to go and get my nose contour perfect, it just has the perfect kind of straight angle to fit like on my nose and like perfectly like carve out my contour. So I really like that. I would say I just wish that she came out with powders, you guys. I really wish I had like a, like a pow, like a, I don't know, some type of like, a book of powders or just like a lot of like translucent powders to choose from I think that is definitely what I wish Rihanna had come out with but um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this cinnamon highlighter let me just try it on my nose first Oh my god, do you guys see how fucking booming that is? Oh. Oh. I'm like looking at this like, is this a cream highlighter? Or no? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm just like freaking out. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel like even for a cream stick, it doesn't feel bad and I don't feel like I am taking any product off of my face you know what I mean like usually if you apply a cream over a powder you feel like immediately it takes the product off do you you guys understand what I mean by that usually you don't want to apply a cream product over a powder but what I'm doing right now I applied a cream over a powder do you guys see that like are we seeing like it didn't remove any product, but it just, it's so crazy bright. This is absolutely amazing. Like you guys, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to like, I was like, uh, this is pretty as a hand swatch. It's not going to look that great when I put it over my powder. It's going to take my face. It's going to take my powder off my face. Bruh, it did not do that. It did not do that.
And I think I also like is that it's blending out so nicely. Like usually you can't you usually you either have to work like really fast with like a cream highlighter over a powder or you just don't do it or you have to apply it with a beauty blender or a finger. Like this has been on my face for a minute. It's still like I could blend this out. Like you see that? Compared to that, like I'm still able to kind of blend it out so it's not as like crazy, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm going to go and apply lashes and lip liner and lipstick. Um and all the products I used for this video, I will put in the description bar below and then I will come back with my kind of final thoughts. So you guys, my final thoughts on Fenty Beauty is that it's really, 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 really good. Um, so to tell you guys what I think about Fenty Beauty, I really, I really love it. I think Rihanna did an amazing job with these foundations. I would say if you were going to try to buy anything in the collection, um, you should probably just get the foundation. The foundation is really, really nice. And for some reason, when you are taking a photograph with the foundation on, it automatically just makes your face look airbrushed. I don't know what kind of technology they use to do that but basically it doesn't matter what you put over top of the foundation when you take a picture with it you look like you have airbrushed skin and it's just really 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 nice um the other thing i will say is that i really like that this match the match stick trio it was kind of like tongue twister but I was really like that these are magnetic, so I feel like they're really easy to not get lost or to travel with because <laughs> because they all stick together and it's really neat having them be magnetic. Um. Anyways, I really like the espresso stick and the highlighter stick that I got in this trio. Um. All I will say is that if you're not really into cream products or cream highlight and contour, you probably don't need this. However, what you do need is the little shimmer stick they have. Like, you guys, I still want to keep like rubbing this all over my face. Like, I just want to keep putting it on. And keep like intensifying that highlight it's just so pretty so this is what I think everybody should probably go out and get if you aren't a big fan of shimmer highlights what I will say is that while everybody is ra raving over her powder her powder compact highlights I'm not a big fan of them because they have a lot of glitter in them it seems and like I said, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the gold. I don't like gold on me in general. So I just didn't like the highlighter. And that's why I ended up returning mine. But I am obsessed with the shimmer stick. It is so nice, you guys. Like, you see that highlight, though. I really love how my skin looks with this foundation on it looks really really nice and the fact is i know it's gonna photograph well so that also makes me happy you know so and just wait until everybody gets that new iphone that's coming out like everybody's instagram pictures are gonna just be like it's gonna be insane she did such a good job with the color range of this product although i don't feel like they have every single color what company does the fact that she has 40 shades on her first launch for the lightest of skin tones to the darkest of skin tones is very very impressive and it shows alone that it's not that hard to make dark foundations 
to suit everybody now she might not have a shade for every single person but she comes damn close and I personally uh, believe that more brands sh should take notice of what she's done now I also believe that I mean she could definitely come out with some liquid concealers because not everybody fucks with the cream concealer um, and powders and once she does I feel like we all just gonna be looking around walking around like we're airbrushed basically like we're all gonna be looking like we have perfect airbrushed flawless skin when she finally comes out with her liquid highlighters if she does or with her liquid concealers or powders like I want her to come out with a translucent powder that literally just has you walking around like you have like a filter on you at all times so I'm waiting for it Rihanna but I'm very very happy with all the products that I got except for the lightest foundation that I showed you Everything else I'm very, very happy with, and I will definitely be buying Fenty Beauty again. So I hope you guys like this review, um, impressions video, not first impressions. Well, first impressions for the concealer and the contour and the shimmer stick, but not foundation first impressions. So I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> everything that I showed you and if you want to go out and get this product hopefully you'll find it in a Sephora near you so thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you later.